Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be working with the 12 strand and 65 pound in the red right here. And oh, I'm going to get that off first. And what we're going to be spooling up is <clears throat> this MXL wrapper right here. Oh, yes, sir. on my mind it's a nice day to go yeah i got a line i'm a caller the whole team it looks like i am doing this real because i don't have enough of the 100 pound to do the other two that i need and it's the 100 pound and white i don't have enough we're literally down to the last bit of it which ain't enough so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this video here we go um And you gotta remember guys, when tying our, our braid to the spool for this knot, you gotta make sure to test it. Make sure to test it, not meaning that it's gonna come untied, meaning that it's gonna spool up the way it's supposed to spool up when it's completely loose. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show you in just a second, guys. See, this knot is designed to be um, or designed to retighten itself back up with a little bit of pressure on holding the main line. What one of the things that was introduced to me in knowledge was that um, obviously the reels heat up, a metal heats and you know heats up, it expands, and when it shrinks, it contracts. Well, I learned that even though a reel is fully spooled up, that it will still slip on the spool, and you won't have no drag. So that was that was something I learned about probably 10 years ago and it was something that was addressed to me with uh, with a knot that if the knot doesn't reclose on itself that it's going to continue to slip. So one of the things I, I intentionally did is and I'm going to zoom in on it right now. As you can tell I'm not using any mono or tape or glue or anything to hold it in place. It, it's loose on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it with my fingers here and put some pressure on it and I'm going to increase the drag and I'm going to crank on it. See how it's going like that? That means that the knot is actually holding the spool and I'm pulling back on it. That is telling me that the knot is working. If it does not do that and it gets loose, then you did not tie the knot in the right direction. So I'm just packing it in over here is all I'm doing. But that is the best way to test to ensure that you tied the knot in the right direction. And this was a knot that uh, I came up with about 15 years ago. And like I said, several thousand reels at minimum. Even if I spooled a thousand reels a year for the last 10 years that I've been in business, that's 1,000 reels right there. Or 10,000 reels right there. So, y'all know me, guys. <laughs> when I get to spooling, I get to spooling. There is all kinds of uh, real numbers that we can put up there. And it's all backed by all the videos that we do here on the YouTube channel. So, stay tuned as we keep it rocking. <laughs>
my guys. So I'm at 100 yards right there. And we're going to keep rocking it forward. <laughs> Oh, the moss, yes. Yeah, when I saw the picture, I was like, go ahead and send it, just because uh, we have had people asking for the moss color, so now we can offer it in holocore. I like, well, it's almost like a brightish, more than that moss. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right, here we go. On the purple or red, Tell him to lower down the radio, please. Tell them lower down the radio, please. Alright, 
That's 400 yards of line right there on this MXL Raptor. I could still go some. That's 425 and I'm good to go there. Very nice. So we're up to 425 yards of line. Yeah. There you go. 300 of 65 and 125 of 80.